General Tumin has been the blue-eyed army officer, one of the 27 armed men who started the National Resistance Army Gorilla War against Milton Obote, who they accused of rigging the 1980 election. General Eli Tumin, a professional artist and former UPDF member of parliament, has withered several political storms and security challenges that the country registered during his tenure. As he handed over office to his comrade in the bush war, Major General Jim Wesey, Tumine used the opportunity to send a message to the Commander-in-Chief, General Yoweri Museveni. I think he knows that I am not after these positions that people clamor for, and perhaps that's why he would rather take care of his political interests of balancing here and there. And I remain a freedom fighter and I admire him and thank him as my teacher, my mentor, my leader and my hero. I will, continue, I will continue to give him my genuine support and support and, uh, and, and advice. And to me now, I think the best advice we can give him is prepare for a smooth transition so that we ensure stability and long-term peace for the long future. Any peace-loving Ugandan, anybody who likes peace, anybody who likes stability, anybody who likes uh, having a, a stable government and a stable country, mm. it is a prayer, it is a wish. Anybody who loves uh, the president or anybody else, it is wish him to work mm. and then have a peaceful transition okay. that moves from one uh, person to another. The president has several advisors on various matters pertaining security, the economy, and culture, among others. Therefore, General Tumine wants the president's advisors to deliver this message to him. You know, it should be our duty to save him from being Ngambanyenka. When you have a proverb, Ngambanyenka, you come out of that the one who does not take advice brews some bad beer. But we should save the president that problem. Or we should save him. There is a disease diagnosed by political scientists and psychologists that is called uh, Hubris Syndrome. General Eli Tumini is said to have taken the first bullet during the NRA Bush War. And after the regime came into power, that is in 1986, he has worked closely with the president. He has served in different capacities. And the recent one was a security minister. And he's also a member of the top brass. So some people have been asking as to why did the general come to make such statements at a time after his boss dropped him from cabinet. I have been saying it all the time. Hmm. I have been praying for it all the time. Okay. Hey, I'm only saying it now that uh, as the, 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 the advice I would want to continue giving. Okay. And that's why he needs advisors. That's why he appoints advisors. If you met him, would you tell him the same? But I'm telling him publicly, I'm not, it's, not, it's not when I meet him. Mm. Even now, he has had me. Okay. And he knows. Okay. I don't have even to say it. He knows it, and everybody who is, who is positive knows it. It is the best wish for him and for your country. We spoke to fellow former Army Commander Major General Mugisha Muntu about Eli Tumine's remarks. One would have hoped... <coughs> that even the majority of the senior leaders in the movement first would be aware of that, but two, that they should consciously work for that. Because we have got a country of 45 million people. The country is more important than any of us. It's important than me, it's important than General Seven, it's important than anybody. You know, and we are transitory. Your life today, tomorrow you are, you know, you go to heaven or to hell, whichever choice you have made before you pass on. So the issue is, at this point, where it's clear that there will be change at some point. General Muntu told NTV that some of the people in government and opposition will criticize Tumini for his remarks by focusing <laughs> on the mistakes rather than the message. Because there is a clique of reckless people, uh, they will want to, you know, uh, uh, dismiss a message of that nature 
Some of them, I suppose, can even be hostile, you know, about a message of that nature, whether it is from within the establishment or even from without. Because many of them are blind. They are blinded by greed. Their focus is on how to do anything to ensure that they maintain uh, the positions that they, main they have, to continue looting. They, they don't look at the country. <laughs> So even when messages come from such people, I, I, I don't think the country should really uh, um, give room for those kinds of hostile reactions. But what needs to be done? In a normal country, no matter what would be happening in the, kinds of, in the situations of this nature, if there is an internal environment within the security services, they would be sitting at a senior level away from cameras, away from public attention, and doing brainstorming sessions, and do scenario building. See, so if this happens, how is this handled? If that happens, what would the outcome? And therefore zero on to how to handle in a situation that would require, you know, uh, managing a transition if it, anything happened. General Eli Tumine says his call for peaceful transition does not mean the NRM handing over power to the opposition. But critics say that it remains to be seen if the focus will now be on General Tumine's past mistakes or his latest message. Sudil Biaruhanga, NTV.